Good Monday morning again to you. Well, I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. I had a nice weekend, yes, by myself, not with a company, but it's so, so tranquil. Just now, since my housekeeper is off, because now I, for the time being, allow her to take off half a month every month for a few months at the moment. I don't mind at all because there's not much to do here in this house. The house stays clean and proper and neat. So what I did this morning was to go downstairs to the kitchen and just checking what's underneath this little table, what's inside the cupboard under the sink, etc. etc. Not that I check everything, but I found two full co plastic containers of utensils that I didn't know that I have. Kitchen ap appliances, not appliances, but utensils that I didn't know I have, that I even see some of the utensils I brought actually from Milan. So those things that I thought are in Milan are here actually. You see, this is the passiveness of my housekeeper. She never asked me, look, we have this, we have that. Why don't you ever use it? But it's all right because now I discovered them myself only because I bought avocados last Thursday and today I was going to have it for lunch, but they're still raw. So I contacted the supplier and they said, well, you know, uh, have you put them in the rice? I said, I don't have much rice in the house. Maybe you should wrap it in the old newspapers. Well, I don't have old newspapers, but then I remember I have a packet of rice. So I went downstairs, that's how it started, to put this one avocado in the rice because I have other two that I put back in my fridge here in the bedroom, here. And then I saw these two big containers just because I was prying under this table next to the stove. And then I realized, you know what, it's dirty, I'm going to wash them. So I took my time washing them and discovered all these kitchen utensils that I didn't know I have. And some of them, I brought actually from Milan. So I'm so happy. I'm just so excited with these little things that I didn't know I have. Mind you, I, you know, bought every kitchen utensils and appliances wherever I live. Most of the countries that I had to live, I gave to friends or did a garage sale. But some I brought back to Milan. So I never remembered what I have and where. And lo and behold, I realized that I have some that, oh my God, that I like, which I used to have in Milan, are here in this box. So I washed them all. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy that I found all these utensils that I need, even though I don't cook, of course, often. I don't, you know, be in the kitchen often, but still I'm so excited. So this is my Monday this today. from Milan for cocktails or made drinks. this cocktail without alcohol, so in Italian you would say anacocolico. And uh, I just use Sprite and water and ice cubes with slices of lemon, orange and lime. And added a stalk of lemongrass. I here instead because it's too hot outside even though it's overcast again but I'm going to watch my favorite YouTube creator. Mm -hmm. Okay I'm not going anywhere but I'm dressed up feel like putting this on this outfit brown and beige very very light beige linen as you can see, and cotton, all from Milan still. Sorry about my bathroom. All from Milan. Just took a shower, just 
made myself up a little bit. I don't know, I might go out, I don't know. I actually need to buy a toner because my toner is out of stock everywhere so I can't buy online. I might go out to look for face toner. Second thought, no, I won't go out because the COVID starts again here. All the school children are not allowed to go to school anymore once again and uh, yeah someone i know has a covid and i hope she'll be well soon because she has to take another test she is in the quarantine so i uh, know i'm not going out sorry for the what do you call that hammering noise in the background making myself again a bruschetta at tea time which is five o'clock but i couldn't wait since i am so hungry so i just have to make it for myself now and eat in the so, balcony here it is i mix cherry tomatoes rucola olive oil and salt i can't take pepper Voila. I can't wait to sink my teeth in. I'm so hungry. Okay then, bon appetit. Fingers crossed. Let's test this ice cream I made yesterday. It's like the real ice cream except it is vegan ice cream. The first time I made a few days ago wasn't satisfactory. As for texture, it looks like a real ice cream. Quiet, satisfactory. Very, very ice creamy. I added some honey in it. Then it tastes perfect. But next time I would put more chocolate and I would buy dates to substitute the honey. I didn't have dates, but all in all, it's let's say 90% good. That has become cocktail <laughs> center without alcohol, of course. And then I'm sorry, it's a messy corner of my dressing table and little desk for my office in the bedroom hey i feel good just having all this around me in my bedroom <laughs> i may be strange i think to many Thanks. our indonesian cake called onde onde that consists of on the outer side are the sesames and the filling is mung beans paste. It's very, very good. I might as well have them because it's almost noon and I haven't had for breakfast. So you can have this for breakfast or tea time. Normally it's green inside. It is mung bean paste, but depending on which bakery you order from, this comes in yellow. However, the taste is the same. It's really, really good. A bit chewy outside and inside is pasty, delicious.
let me wrap up this vlog and whoever watched it i hope you enjoyed it and new viewers if you do like my content don't forget to subscribe please and like and comment also if you will thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video take care stay safe and ciao ciao arrivederci